What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a whole a variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reviewing the Saints Magic Powers OP, Episode 3, Capital. And if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you want to help the Superfina channel, we also have a Patreon and channel membership. Links to those will be available in the description. So we are reviewing Saints Magic Power is OP Episode 3, Capital. This was a good episode. Why? Because it's showing like a lot of things of this world. In the beginning of the episode, we see Sei and Ju talking. Sei is holding a bucket and she's asking Ju to make her some ice water or cold water. And Jude explains that he can only make water because he's a water mage. He can't make ice. And the reason why I say is asking for a bucket of cold water is because it's hot and she wants to put her feet in the bucket of water and cool herself down. And when she explained that to Jude, he got like taken aback or like he had like a little blush thing going on and say falls up with, I know it's improper for ladies to show their feet and it's like, dang, this is like old school stuff because there was once a time where women should not show their feet or legs and that's why they wore long skirts. Following that, we see Say in her room relaxing. She's like, oh, I'm cooled off. And then someone opens the door and it's Albert Hawk and he sees her feet. Now we know that Albert kind of has a thing for her because in the last episode, we saw him scoot a little closer to Say while they were eating. And now he sees her feet and he's like blushing a little and he turned away, closed the door, giving her some privacy, you know, like, oh dear. <laughs> we learned that Albert came to say to ask if she wanted to accompany him to the capital because he was going to go there, do some business. And she's like, hell yeah, I want to go to the capital. I want to see outside of the institute, outside of the palace, you know, I want to see what this world is like since I'm stuck here. No, she didn't really say that, but that's how I'm interpreting it. They're at the capital. They're having a good time. Say's enjoying herself. She's enjoying seeing all like the different produce, the people, the entertainment, and they go eat. Albert gets her something to eat and drink. She's enjoying the food, and he's asking how she's doing. She's asking, well, it would be nice if my drink was cold. And you know what? The ice knight can use ice magic. So he's not just code in the heart. He can use ice magic. And it was really interesting how that magic was procured. So he had his hand over the drink. And then just a little, like, it looked like a particle, a particle of ice. And I'm like thinking, well, that's it? What, what, you're gonna make it snow or something? And then the little particle dropped in the drink and then just exploded into ice cubes. And I was thinking, Huh, that's different. I'm used to like explosive magic effects. This one was like simple and then explosive. <laughs> After that, we see Albert and Say in a shop. Albert had to go there, do some business. And while he's doing that, Say's like looking around and she sees like this hair ornament. She's looking at admiring it and then she sees the price. And she's like, oh. We're gonna have to come back here later when I save up some money. And I could totally relate to that. I'm like, yeah, gonna have to save some money. After they were done with all their business in the capital, Albert sends Say home and he gives her a gift. He's like, oh, this is a souvenir. And it was the hair ornament that she was looking at, but it was tweaked a little bit. The jewels that were on the ornament were customized, they were different, they were a different color, and they matched Albert's eyes. They were the same shade of blue as his eyes. And we're gonna go back to that later on in this video. Then, the next day, or sometime later on, Say goes to the director, Johan, tells her about her reports, and he's asking, oh, how was your time in the capital? And she's like, oh, I enjoyed it. And he's like, Asking, oh, you enjoyed the date? And Say's like, what do you mean a date? He's like, didn't you spend time with another man? Didn't he hold your hand? Didn't he 
treat you right? Didn't you feel like you're being taken care of? She's like, yeah, 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 I felt like, yeah, I experienced all that. He's like, that's a date. <laughs> that's a date. And she's like, what? No. And he's like, well, what else did he do? Like, and then he's like, <laughs> poor V. He's like, really trying to work for Albert. Letting say no. Like, girl, this was a date. My boy has an interest in you. My boy does not take girls out. He would only take a girl out if he was romantically interested in him. Please get it through your head that my boy, Albert, likes you. <laughs> like, Johan is totally wing magging for him. <laughs> and Sage tells him that Albert did give her a gift, a souvenir. He's like, oh, can I see it? And she shows it to him. And he's like, you know, yes, it's common for nobles to do these things for women, but noble men do not just buy gifts for women. Like, that's not common. This means that he's romantically interested in you. And he's sees the gift and he's like smirking he's like yeah yeah albert totally is into you yeah he is but i'm not gonna say that outright i'm just gonna say that this was a date and he would only take a woman he's romantically interested in out like so this was a date <laughs> so now this idea is implemented in space Hey, she's like, oh my gosh, it was a day. Oh, wow, romance. Okay, now she's really considering him romantically because the romance was introduced. Now it is in her head. She's going to think about it. The hair ornament comes back again. So he's talking to Jude about it. And apparently it's been enchanted. So not only did Albert change jewels to match his eye color, but he also enchanted it. Dang! He's putting some work in this hair ornament. So this is where enchantment is introduced. They knows how to do potions. She knows that her cooking loses up stats. And she knows cosmetics helps with other stuff. And now we're introduced to enchantment. So the director takes her to this place called Assembly where someone can teach her about enchantment. So she's learning about it and then they're like, okay, here you go. Take this little stone here that's called like a focus, pokey, and enchant it. Make it be able to do something. And she's doing it and she's like thinking and then it breaks. And it's like, oh shoot, it broke. And what I notice about these pokey is that the cruder it looks, the weaker it is. So the reason why Stay's pokey focus thing broke was because what she was trying to enchant it with was too much for it. The focus was too weak to hold that enchantment. So the leader, the guy who oversees the assembly area, he's like, what were you trying to do? She's like, well, I was trying to like, Put this enchantment in it's like oh that's not good enough here try with this focus so the first one that she used looked like a rock so the guy who's in charge of the assembly area he's like okay try this and he gives her a focus that's like rounder smooth it looks more refined than then than that little pebble <laughs> that she was given and she enchants it and whatever she wants to enchant it with it worked it could handle it and Apparently, that was something that's not easy to do because everyone's like, wow, especially since this was her technically second try, but it's her first time enchanting an item. So the guy, he's like, okay, try this. How about this? How about this? And you can totally tell that he was really excited. He's like, okay, what else can she do? Like he was having fun experimenting seeing her potential and apparently he was impressed with it because after all the stuff that she enchanted he gives her the first one that she enchanted a smooth round focus and in my reaction i did comment like that's all she gets like she enchanted all these items and we learned in the anime that items that are enchanted their value increases so i'm thinking okay if items values increase after they're enchanted how much do each of these focuses cost huh and you're just gonna give her one focus that she enchanted i mean i think she's owed a little bit more than that 
later on in the anime, it is revealed that all the items that she enchanted were really good. Just like her potions, just like her cooking. And now they're in demand, but the thing is, she's the only one who can make products like that. So they ask her in, and the director of the research institute is actually upset because now she's being taken away and she's being asked to help a different department and she can't even like get the credit that she's making these items for some reason it has to be like hush hush that someone outside the assembly is making these items that are enchanted really good so the director's like okay you need to pay her and i'm like that's what i said that's what i said she needs to be compensated and she will be i'm like now the scene where they show her enchanting the items for the assembly that would be given to the first order of knights, like the first order of knights, they only show her just making it. But I know that they're laying out a foundation for something that will happen later on in the series. Because the scene was so small, like it wasn't like grand. All they did was show that the guy in charge of the assembly smiling, you know, that whole stoic face smile thing you know you know what i'm talking about that gap that the tommy game thing that they do but this is not a tommy game but it's not anyways what i'm trying to say that i'm pretty sure that the whole enchanted items the whole enchanted focus stuff will come back later on they're just giving us a little foundation for it for us to go back to and reference after that we see a scene of say visiting albert hawk saying that she made some snacks and she wants to give it to him she's like oh you can eat it like on your own and such i'll be leaving you know she's trying to rush out and then albert's like oh what's this and it's a box and it turns out they made him a gift so that first item that she enchanted the round focus the one that she enchanted with a lot of benefits and such i think it was supposed to mitigate all magic so she made this necklace it was a pendant she made a pendant and she put that focus inside of it and she gave it to him and i think this was perfect because he's out there putting himself in danger and if he's wearing an accessory that protects him from all magic well awesome that's perfect and alfred gets the gift and she's like talking about it and then all of a sudden she feels something they show the scene of albert Bending on his knees and kissing Say's hand. I was like, oh, cute, yes. And that was the end of the episode. <laughs> Even though the episode's title was Capital, the theme of this episode was pretty much enchanted items. It was enchantment. So we got potions, cooking, cosmetics, and now enchantment. I'm seeing a pattern, a little theme here. I'm wondering if the next episode is going to be about some other type of magic, some other type of skill and such. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And I also think this episode was explaining to us the culture of this world. We were learning about different types of magic. We were learning about the customs, like women shouldn't show their feet. We were learning how men treat women differently if they are romantically interested in them because when albert took say to the town he actually asked her out which he doesn't normally do he held her hand most of the time and he gave her a gift and apparently when you give gifts with stones with the same eye color as yours you're pretty much showing your intention for that person you're like hey i like you here's a gift with some stones of the same eye color as me. This means I like you. And it also, in my interpretation, <clears throat> shows that they're taking a claim on you because there was a scene where Say was at the library and she was talking to Elizabeth and Elizabeth saw the hair ornament and she's like, ooh, was that from Albert Hawk? And he's like, how do you know? She's like, well, the stones are the same eye color as his. No one else has the same eye color except for his family. This is their signature eye color, okay? And so he's like, what? So from there, Elizabeth totally knew that Albert was staking his claim on her. So that's what these gifts are about, these hair ornaments. Anything, any accessories that has like the jewels with the same color as the person who gifted it. It's pretty much saying, hey, 
I'm the one who gave this. This person is wearing it. This person likes me back, and I'm staking my claim on this person. So, Albert, you go get your girl. Get her. I like how aggressive Albert is. Like, he's straightforwardly showing his intention by holding her hand, giving the hair ornament, kissing her hand at that last scene in the episode. It's very refreshing because in other animes, the guy does show his intention, but it's not super obvious. And it needs to be obvious for Say because she was like, no, 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 sir. This guy is being blatant about his affection. It has to go through you. And it did. I'm like, oh, this is refreshing. Now it's gonna, this, whatever relationship is gonna be, we can see it actually progress. There's no like, oh, who's she gonna be with? It. She could end up with Albert, but she could not. We were not too sure. This is only episode three. And that was my review of The Saints Magic Power. It's OP episode three, capital. What did you think about the episode? What did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there is a Discord. The link to the Discord is available in the description. And I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch these videos do like to stop by the stream, talk about the video, the episode, have that one-on-one -on -one real-time conversation. You guys are more than welcome. And outside of YouTube and Twitch, I also host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is available in the description. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this was a Super Fina channel reviewing the Saints Magic Power is OP Episode 3, Capital. Hope you guys like this video and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.